I was pointed to this crimp tool, the iCrimp IWS-2820M. Die widths go from 0.7 millimeters to 2.2 millimeters, so I was excited to see that, and it was less than $20, so I ordered one. The most difficult crimp terminal I use are the Molex Clickmate. I've had good success with the Engineer PA09 crimp tool. The depth of the 1mm crimp die is about 1.7mm on the PA09, and that is just a tiny bit too deep. The depth of the 1mm die on this tool is only 1mm. Both the 0.7mm and the 1mm die slots have a depth of 1mm. I think 1mm might be too shallow for the Clickmate terminal, but I'll find out. I don't have any terminals to test the 0.7mm die. I probably wouldn't be able to put something that small in the die slot even if I did. It comes with a nice little set of instructions, good pictures to show what you need to be looking for, best instructions I've seen with any of the iCrimp tools. They feel pretty good, no play in them at all. Handles feel nice, I kinda like to feel the handles better than the ones on the PA09. So let me get to crimping. I'm going to start with the Clickmate terminals. I'll work my way from the hardest to the easiest. These are very small terminals. Body width is a little under one millimeter, so I will be using the one millimeter width die. These terminals are supposed to handle 26 to 28 gauge wire, but I don't have any 26 gauge wire where the insulation is thin enough to fit, so I'll only be using 28 gauge. I basically have to position these under the microscope, but this was the best looking of the crimps, and I tried over 20. It looks to be a decent crimp. It is one of the few where the terminal didn't deform horribly. I have a couple of terminals to try a pull test. For these, the insulation is not crimped, just the wire. This one looks pretty good. This one, not so good. This is the deformation I'm having a problem with. I can't imagine this is going to hold onto the wire. This is the deformed one, and it makes it to 22 ounces. 35 ounces is the minimum pullout force listed in the data sheet, and this one didn't make it, but it did do better than I expected. Here's the one that didn't deform, made it to 58 ounces, so the tool can do a proper crimp of these terminals. It was very difficult to hold the terminal in the proper position in the crimp tool. I'm not sure why, but quite often the terminal would slip when applying a little pressure. And it seemed like any misalignment would result in a deformation of the terminal. At least three quarters of the crimps I tried messed up the terminal. I think it might be because the jaws are deflecting. So I'm going to say if you're looking for a crimp tool for the Clickmate terminals, this is not it. The PA09 is about twice the price of this tool, but well worth the extra money for these terminals. Here's the same Clickmate terminal crimped with the PA09 tool, and it made it to 70 ounces. Now for the JST ZH terminals, these are used in a 1.5 millimeter pitch connector, so not quite as dense as the Clickmate connectors. The terminal body width is a little under one millimeter, so I will be using the one millimeter wide die for these. Again, these are small enough I really have to position the terminal and wire under the microscope to get everything in the correct position. These terminals seem to be a little heavier gauge than the Clickmate terminals, and they reveal what is causing the deformation of the terminals. Watch the end of the crimp tool as I crimp the terminal. You can see the jaws deflect. And once the movement starts with that tiny one millimeter depth, it just keeps on deflecting. And of course, destroying the terminal. I'm going to move to some larger terminals as this is not going to work on the small terminals I have. The jaws are just not rigid enough and I'm destroying more terminals than I complete. These are the Molex KK terminals 
They are used in the likes of the PC fan connector. It's a terminal that has been around a while. They are about the largest header terminals I use. They have a very rounded body, so it's hard to get a good measure of the width. I've had the best crimps with the 1.6mm slot in the other tools, so I'm going to use the 1.6mm here as well. This tool can make some good looking crimps on these terminals. But, and I think it is the rounded bottom of the terminals, the jaws will try to deflect. Very disappointing. Again, a very low rate of success. This is not the tool for these. These are the terminals that fit my favorite headers, the Molex SL series. These are not small connectors and the terminals are nice and long and easy to hold. They are a little on the expensive side, but there is a lot more metal in the terminal itself. The terminal body is right at 1.3 millimeters wide, so I will use the 1.3 millimeter slot. These terminals have a pretty flat bottom and the jaws don't really try to deflect much. Finally, I have a terminal this tool seems to crimp properly. I tried five terminals and had five successes. At least the crimps look nice and no deformation of the terminal. Here is the SL terminal with a 24 gauge wire. Again, only the wire is crimped, not the insulation. 104 ounces, so six and a half pounds. And the terminal with 22 gauge wire, 200 ounces, 12 and a half pounds. Now that was a really good crimp. I will add that the wire pullout force on these terminals does have a lot to do with the crimping force but that 200 ounces is very good for the amount of force I applied to the crimp. If you're looking for a tool just for the Molex SL terminals, this one seems to do a good job. Usually when I buy a cheap tool, if it works at all, I'm okay with it. Now I don't have any of the terminals listed on the back of the packaging, so I can't say how those would do. But on iCrimp's website, the statement, perfect crimps pins such as JST's VH, XH, and NH pins, Molex KK, Pico Blade series, so on and so forth. So either I have a bad tool or they didn't really try the Molex KK terminals. I've looked the tool over and I don't think there's anything wrong with the one I bought. I did try tightening the pivot screw, tight enough where the tool is usable but it's not free moving and that may have helped a small amount. But the jaws still deflect and I was one out of three with the KK terminals after tightening. So I consider that a fail. These are a very cheap crimp tool, and if all you need is to crimp some Molex SL terminals, they should do fine. But I would not recommend these as a small terminal crimp tool. Thank you for watching.